Welcome to the course of Sustainable Ocean, from ocean discovery to ocean sustainable development. So nice to see many of you out in the world here. Our global ocean connects us all. All people of the world are connected by the ocean and space. It provides for us the livelihood, the oxygen we breathe, transportation, and at the same time, it's an unexpected frontier. All these exciting things above the ocean and in the ocean that we're trying to explore together. What we're trying to do here is to unlock the ocean's secret to really provide some light into the deep ocean and what it does for us in society. We come together to think about a deeper understanding of the complex system of the ocean system, the environment system, the climate system, and certainly the human system that we're part of. We're trying to understand how the ocean has developed this ecosystem that supports life on our planet. And at the same time, as we see these life-supporting functions, we're also concerned about ocean decline, about the threats that are with us in our environment, and the ocean is polluted, it's used to heavy, it doesn't provide all the goods and services that we're still interested in. On the other hand, there's good news showing up. The ocean has finally made it to the global agenda. A few months ago, in September 2015, the nationals around the world have agreed on an ocean goal for ocean sustainable development. To me, that's exciting because it means for the first time, the ocean will be in the focus of sustainable development and we want to take you on that journey to understand what it's all about. So we're going to try to link together the oceanic aspects, the physics, the chemistry, the biology with us, the human system. As you follow the course, you will realize how important the oceans are for us humans, what they do to connect us around the world, and the ecosystem that they support, the, the resources they give to us from fish to energy to materials, but also how human activity has put in some stresses on the ocean and challenging some of that resilience. Ultimately, of course, the course is thinking about our human perception of the ocean, human interaction of the ocean, and how we as humans together are dealing with, governing, and developing the ocean as we develop ourselves. We want to encourage you to think about not only the global ocean, but what it means to your regional, to your local setting. What does the ocean mean for you, in your sphere, in your population, in your country, in your region? Most of my co-authors work with me here in Kiel. They are mostly marine scientists in Germany, and what we're trying to understand is a, a new way of thinking about or rethink our human interaction, that's you and me, with the ocean system. What is that interaction? On the one hand, we are providing change to the ocean, and on the other hand, the ocean is providing service to us as humans. Resources out of the ocean, but also risks. We learn about flash floods, tsunamis, things like that. And in this MOOC, we have the chance to see how excited we are about the ocean as scientists, how we want to discover the ocean more, learn about it, but also to think about when we put our knowledge together as the ocean system, see how the ocean as a system behaves and what that ocean system understanding can do to us to look into the future. We want to understand how you and I are changing the ocean in the future. We want to use that knowledge from ocean understanding, ocean systems and ocean predictions to arrive at better governance, to arrive at smarter interactions, more sustainable interactions. I as a physical oceanographer, will teach you how the ocean physics work. I will discuss with you the basic forces for ocean circulation, the horizontal circulation and the deep circulation. We'll discuss about ocean temperature, how the ocean is warming and sea level is slowly rising. I want to share with you some of the insights of how we go from ocean observations to ocean models to predictions. We have prepared for you weekly lectures of different topics. Other aspects in the course will be thinking about the ecosystem of the ocean, ocean biology. We'll discuss with you how the deep ocean works, the abyssal ocean, that four, five, six thousand meters below the surface, that dark space, the deep ocean, the geology, volcanoes, life forms, and what they have to do with us. We will discuss with you ocean economy, ocean sustainable development, ethics, and all these things coming together to, for you and for me to understand our particular role in the environmental system and in the ocean system. So we want to take you on this scientific journey, on this great discovery about the ocean and take that insight 
into learning more about how we as humans systematically interact with the ocean and what the solutions might be. What could we do when we think ahead collectively about better ocean? So we will deliver the key aspect, the scientific knowledge, but you will use that knowledge, think through that knowledge, and share that knowledge with the global population. Everybody else in this global course wants to hear from you what you think about the ocean, your ideas. We'll have weekly quizzes for you, so we're gonna check a bit on your progress of understanding, but it's really more for you to check whether you're following, whether you're seeing that excitement and you are able to put that information together into a holistic picture. We will provide information, you get the benefit. But actually, we also want to learn from you. We want you to engage with all your fellows, your colleague listeners, your colleague learners of all works of life and see if you have the same concerns, if you think about the ocean the same way as we do and share that knowledge. Maybe you have better ideas, new insights, new knowledge, so together we can think about the future ocean sustainable development. Now for some of you, you might think as this course I want to be a nicer student, I want to save the ocean. That's one way to look at it. Others will say, I want to be a good steward of the ocean. I really want to take care of the environment, be a good steward. But for others, it's more thinking about, reflecting about how can I have a life in the future that actually is in harmony with the ocean. That beautiful space out there that we're all part of. And in that way, this course gives us this wonderful opportunity to study the ocean, its sustainability, and our interaction between humans and the ocean and the world. Hello, my name is Nile Matzluk. I'm a professor for the International Law of the Sea and I'm going to tell you how the state of the marine environment we are trying to achieve can be governed by international law, by international policy and how this works. Hi, I'm Colin Devi. I'm a seafloor geologist and I'm going to take you on a trip into the deep ocean to find out what we know about the deep ocean, but also what we don't know about what's going on down there. It's a voyage of discovery. Hello, my name is Jörn Schmidt and I'm socio-ecologist and in this MOOC I will tell you about how the humans relate to the ocean and why attitudes matter for sustainable development. My name is Thorsten Reusch, I'm a marine ecologist and evolutionary biologist and I'm very much interested in how life evolved through millions of years, but also how life can still adapt to changing conditions uh, that we're experiencing now. My name is Nasus Vafidis. In the upcoming chapters, I will be presenting the concept of coastal systems, discuss the hazards that those systems are exposed to, and present the idea of the future coast, how our coasts will be looking in 50 or 100 years from now. Hi, I'm Ulf Riebesel. I'm a biological oceanographer and I'm interested in how the changing ocean affects marine life. What are the impacts of a changing ocean on marine ecosystems? How does this affect food webs? And what are the consequences for ocean biogeochemical cycles? And above all, I'm interested to find out what these changes do to ecosystem services in the ocean that we all depend on so much. I'm Martin Kvass, I'm an economist. We will talk about resources, sustainability, and ocean economics. There's a big concern about overuse of ocean resources, and of course it's economic incentives that govern the use and perhaps overuse of ocean resources. I will show you also that economics may be part of the sol solution towards ocean sustainability.